Uh, on Tuesday, the Oklahoma governor, Mary Fallon, who is a Republican, she tried to compare the teachers that are striking for, you know, their, they're, they're striking for improved conditions in the schools. They're striking mm -hmm. for better wages. Um, but she compared these striking teachers to a teenager wanting a better car. And that's a quote, a teenager wanting a better car. She believes that these teachers that have not had a pay raise for a decade are acting like immature, irresponsible teenagers that just want a better car. Not just, you know, because they haven't had a pay raise in a decade, but they got textbooks that are falling apart. Yep. Um, the textbooks that are falling apart, they don't even have enough of those FUBAR textbooks to distribute to the, you know, to their students. Mm -hmm. They may have half of the amount right. of necessary. Um, the class sizes, yeah, broken furniture, broken furniture. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm actually, I wasn't even gonna mention that. I forgot yeah. about broken that. furniture. Um, some of these teachers have to pick up second jobs, mm -hmm. um, to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. Some of them have to pick up second jobs to uh, pay their medical expenses. But none of that matters. They're just they just wanna. They're spoiled. They're spoiled. They're, they're like spoiled teenagers, teenagers who just want their car. Yes. The, the audacity of this governor, because see her and all these Republicans, they feel like, how dare you? Because we already signed a bill. We already approved of a bill that's going to give you a raise. How dare you continuously strike and not accept what we're trying to give to you? Yeah, it was the largest raise in history. And I'm just thinking, I was like, wait a second. It's going, of course, it's going to be the largest raise in history when you didn't give any teachers <laughs> a raise for a decade. A damn decade. Of course, it's going to be the largest raise in history if y'all were ranked 47th in teacher pay. So, see, I've, I've seen all the way from 47th all the way up to 50th. 50th. I it's, think the 2000, yeah, 2016 stats said that they were 49th. I believe. So, anything that they did would have probably been a record. <laughs> <laughs> anything. But see, this whole, uh, you know, comparison to a spoiled little brat, these, these teenagers that want a better car, um, it, it didn't work. Uh, <laughs> it had a, had a negative effect for Governor Mary Fallon. So um, teachers, they have been flooding the Capitol this week, uh, and they have been, um, like, filling the hallways, all floors of the hallway of the Capitol building. And uh, Mary Fallon, she said that on Tuesday, about the, you know, spoiled, spoiled brats, the teenagers that want a better car. So on Wednesday, this is a video from the teachers at the Capitol. So they were at the Capitol building jingling the keys. <laughs> <laughs> saying where's my car yo she thought see when she made that statement she thought she was being funny very cute yeah. <laughs> very cute and then she yeah. ended up getting trolled like a mother <laughs> that is trolling that is expert and I'm like, level who, trolling well first of all who did she think she was messing with <laughs> these are teachers yo like these my yeah. teachers tend to be expert trollers dog yeah, no, they no. have to be because look like they they they're around kids. They are they, they pick up to, on things. They right? pick up on things. They have to develop like a part of themselves that you know stuff rolls off their back and then right. they have to like respond because mm -hmm. you know kids be testing them. Of course, dog. This is light work. This is man. This is this. She's she light didn't work. Expect Taylor, it. She didn't but expect. She didn't it. expect. Like, How it, you trying to troll teachers, especially teachers that are in a united front? I'm like, yo, you asked exactly. for it. Exactly. <laughs> Like all these teachers have a united front. They are strong together. They ain't feeling like they're not scared of you. They know that look when it they know that you're gonna have to give in. You're gonna have to. But another thing about this man, again, the audacity of this governor. Year after year after year, this legislature in in, in Oklahoma has cut taxes for the big corporations, right? For big business. 
and it has exacerbated the failing economy in Oklahoma. You didn't say that those people, those wealthy business owners were acting like spoiled kids and they just wanted more money. They just wanted more benefits. You know what? But these people that are tr trying to make ends meet so that they don't have to get a second job, a mm -hmm. third job, mm -hmm. trying to uh, pay for their insurance, tr trying to put a roof over their, over their heads. You're saying that they're acting like spoiled kids. Interesting, because mm. you you mentioned the tax breaks and all that for the wealthy. But um, um, in 2016, in the midst of slumping oil prices, failing, fa fa falling. With <laughs> That's funny. I, I, falling. I, okay, my bad. I said failing by accident. Maybe falling, yeah. Maybe it was like a little Freudian slip. But, uh, <laughs> she announced uh, oil field prayer day. You remember that? <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Uh, it was originally just for Christians, but she decided to include uh, uh -huh. members of all faith because they was just the, the oil prices were slumping. So she took it upon herself to tell Oklahomans, Oklahoma, what? Oklahoma, Oklahomans, Oklahomans, mm -hmm. that there would be a a, a, a state day mm -hmm. that they can uh, pray for the oil industry. Uh -huh. uh, I have a um, statement from her you <laughs> like this. It says, there are many people suffering right now who've lost their jobs in the energy sector. There are a lot of families who have been hurt. And I think prayer is always a good thing for anyone. So she had nothing but compassion for those. She felt their pain. She felt their pain for those that are in the fossil fuel industry. But teachers just demanding, like, I don't know, like adequate environment for their students and compensation for yeah, their work. Adequate it's just, pay. It's, that's just, that's out of the question. We noted several times that a quarter of the state's public school teachers have either quit the profession or left the state of Oklahoma because of the horrible wages and because of the conditions in school too, because of the legislature's failure to properly fund these schools. Fossil fuel industries deserve compassion though, well teachers, not so much.